Hey guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. I actually just filmed my uh, part two unboxing Louis Vuitton haul, which you would have seen already. My new Montaigne MM in monogram canvas, but I'm now going to film this on the back of that and put it up a bit later because I love watching this type of video actually and I think the way it gets filmed is super super handy shout out again to my gorgeous friend LV Lover CC I have been stalking some of her videos on Marathon and the way she films it is super cool and shows you just how to pack and organize and I know I used to do a what fits in my bag how I pack my bag videos and they were so handy so I want to sort of do them again I'm trading these out right now to use my Montaigne MM so I'm going to show you how I pack the Montaigne from what's inside of my Chanel Le Boy bag in calfskin leather, black, old medium size with the silver ruthium hardware. This is in the larger quilts and is just a beautiful bag. I have a review on it. I will link that review below. But opening the closure, this is what is inside it at the moment. This is exactly how I've been carrying it minus my phone. One minute. I would put my phone just in the slip pocket because this old medium has just a slip pocket. I would add the phone in the back there and then close it back up which it does very nicely. The only thing that's missing from this bag is sunglasses. So we're going to trade all of what's in here and all of what's on the floor in to my new Montaigne, my Montaigne MM which I just unboxed for you guys and I'm going to show you how I pack it and what fits in it. So I just feel like that this is such a cool angle. I know my face isn't in it but that's okay. So here is my boy bag and there are the items inside of it. Here are the items that get left out all the time. I have my uh, PM Agenda, six ring agenda from Louis Vuitton in Damier Azure that gets left out. My black Jerusha pouch covering, carrying all of my electrical needs, USB, a spare pen, iPhone and laptop cords are always in that. And my sunnies as I said and just extra kind of essentials that I'll just throw in my bag. So my twist and spray uh, Chanel Mademoiselle perfume gets left behind. Any type of lip balm usually gets left behind in downsizing to a boy because they just don't fit. So keys on my multi-clay so they don't scratch do fit. I always have this little pochette from Witchery that does fit. My um, caviar leather small wallet or small card holder that actually even has coins in it does fit my these two I have to actually compare but my black noir emprunt clay from Louis Vuitton which is oh smells like heaven does fit and then just I say so sorry my phone which I showed you does fit in the back I had in here I have to pay someone in cash so we have some hundred dollar bills in the back there. My earphones are coiled up and in the back slip pocket there. Uh, they can fit in a clay and slid down in here but obviously it takes up more room. I have a business card. I have some mail and other bits of mail and paper. They This bag's good for that. You can just slip receipts because I don't tend to put receipts in this because uh, it's far too bulky. So receipts, Priceline, Woolworths, uh, Thomas Ducks. So now that is the boy empty. Uh, I love the lining of this bag. It's really durable and lovely in, in the grey. So that is the boy empty as you can see. And here is my brand new monogram Montaigne MM. I'm so excited and I'm excited to pack this and show you guys putting all of these items in it. So obviously with the plus I loved the outside pockets. It was handy 
but the fact that this is still a tote bag and there's no zipper and I can just access it like the GST is really handy for my lifestyle. So we have no outside pockets to put anything in, but I kind of like that clean finish. It's very nice. So there is a center compartment. I probably... Uh, you can fit a full wallet in here. So I just bought that to show you. Here is my Emily wallet with the rouge lining, the red lining. The only thing is, is you have to maneuver it. Uh, so maybe that's not handy for some people in a rush to get it out. You have to maneuver it on the side and turn it down, but it does fit in there. So that's an Emily wallet, which would probably mean a Sarah would fit in here. I'm not gonna say an insulate wallet would fit in here because that is a very large wallet, but you just turn it on the side and pull it out like so. I would say, well, a zip, this is my Zippy Compact wallet in Demi Ebin, then it definitely fits in here because it's smaller than this, um, the Emily wallet. But that is obviously what they made this center compartment for because obviously it has the lock feature on the side here, which I did try to show you in the unboxing. It's quite funny. <laughs> I like it, but I wouldn't be using it for a wallet to, to be secure. This center compartment, knowing that my keys are in there on my multi-clay is so great to just, and that's my drag on strap, to just know my keys are always in that center compartment, I just go to it, that is so handy for me. So we'll put my keys in there and I won't do it up, I won't zip it up because I'll be in and out of there a lot. That is so handy dandy. I would change my compact, I am sorry, I am gonna change my compact Chanel caviar uh, leather wallet out to probably I'm gonna say my Emily I love my Emily wallet I'm probably gonna change that out so we'll pretend it's changed out and then we will just put that in the back pocket that the just the one compartment slip is on that fits perfectly I will also change out this smaller witchery essentials pouch it holds hair ties hand wipes uh, Panadol and spare keys. I will change that out to my mini pochette in Damier bin. Let's pretend that's changed out as well. And then I will put this in the front large compartment. So then what we have left, my uh, Emprunt clay and my Jerusha pouch. It's a bit of a black fest. We will put the Jerusha pouch standing up in the front next to the zippy next sorry next to my mini pochette and we will put the armprant clay back with my wallet like that so we systemize where they are together very nicely this back slip pocket is great for an iPhone 6 it does fit just perfectly and you know it's there it does fit if I flip it around it does fit standing up in one of these pockets. That's an iPhone 6. It does fit standing up, which is nice to know. But I prefer it laying down in this slip pocket, which the made-in stamp is on. So I know it's there. The best thing about these compartmentalized bags like the GST is to know where everything is and then memorize that. So I will need this. I it either sits on my office desk or it goes in my handbag with me. It's an essential need in my life. I add credit cards in here, uh, but I need all of the details in my agenda most of the time during the day. So I will pop that down with my mini pochette in the front. Are we getting quite full? Yeah. Okay, we're getting quite full. <laughs> so that is what that looks like. The last items is just a twist, a twist and spray perfume from Chanel, which I've shown you in the Chanel lip balm. We'll just put those down on the side if we need them. We will do up my sunnies in my soft Colette Heyman pouch and put them down with them. I will have my earbuds on a clay 
This bag doesn't have outside handles as I showed you in the unboxing. The handles are on the inside of the bag. So clipping on a clay to there doesn't necessarily work because it comes up and over. So you can clip a clay onto this side if you want to or you can just keep it down inside your bag. And then that is what I would do is I'd put my earbuds in a clay and put that down inside. Probably in one of these pockets so that's where the clay would go so yeah that is how I will pack this beauty and I'm so excited to start using it I'm going to start using it right now exactly like this I will obviously change out the items that I still don't have things in like my wallet uh, and my mini pochette and I'll get a couple of clays but that is what it looks like that is what it holds I have all of that in my speedy 25 and it's perfectly in here so there you go guys I hope you enjoyed that video a little bit different I love that angle I love watching videos like that like how to pack them and watching people put them in their bags again yeah a nice weight to it not bad because it's canvas I assume in the Amparant this bag can get quite heavy, uh, but it's just beautiful. I'm so excited. I'm going to be using it straight away. There it is again with all of my items down inside. Again, the features it has the feet. I will use this bag and I will report back with a review, but I am just so stoked. I am so happy that I went back and really questioned myself as I said in the unboxing but I am so stoked to have this bag if you're interested in it please go into the boutique go and see your essay go and check it out and uh, yeah wear it try it on put your items in it I always tell everybody just really try it on you're spending that kind of money make sure you love it so thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video guys if you enjoyed it and like that kind of how you pack things angle please give this video a thumbs up and I will know to do more from that because I enjoy doing these these are really fun so yes I will see you in my next video guys I hope everybody is doing really well take care guys peace